Hello everybody and welcome back to Southeast by Midwest. I'm Cassie and today we are going to be talking about the Orbe Gold Lust Repair and Restore Shampoo and Conditioner. Now if you want to know if these are worth their almost $100 price tag, not for the size, but if you want to know if the largest size is worth the $100 price tags, just keep watching. As always here on Southeast by Midwest, before we get into talking about the products, we always disclose. And the disclosure for this post is that I received these in a birch box, I believe. I will link the blog post or the video down below if I did. And I've been using these and I wanted to kind of review them to let you know if I thought they were worth purchasing the bigger sizes. So let's jump into more information about these. The first thing that I want to touch on is the sizing for these. I did mention it in the intro that the $100 price tag is not for these larger sizes. So I do want to kind of touch base on the sizing. So these are both a 0.5 ounces. Now the thing is, is that for the actual full sizes, the pricing for each is not the same and the sizing is not the same, but the samples were both the same size. So 0.5 ounces is what is in my hand right now. The actual first size that you can purchase anywhere is the 1.7 ounce and that will be $17 for the shampoo and $18 for the conditioner. I do not know why the conditioner is a dollar more. The next size up is 8.5 ounces for the shampoo and that is $49 and for the conditioner it is 6.8 eight ounces and it is $52. So for the next size up, you get a lot less for the conditioner, but it costs several dollars more. So I don't understand what's going on with the pricing at all. And then the largest size for both of them is a one liter bottle that actually has a pump. And for the shampoo, that one is $154. And for the conditioner, it's 182. Now I do want to mention that if you purchase these on Beautylish, the one liters can be broken into three payments, no credit checks. Um, and it would be three payments for the shampoo. It would be $51.33. And for the conditioner, it is $60.67 for each payment. So now let's talk about what they actually do. Starting with the shampoo, it has what is called bromelain in it, which is a natural enzyme. And what it does is it actually, ooh, it's kind of unfocusing on me. It actually exfoliates the scalp and balances the, the scalp's pH better than what a regular shampoo would do. Um, they both contain the Orbe Signature Complex, which is a blend of flowers, and that's supposed to protect your hair from the environment, drying it out, damaging it, and fading your color. Um, they both also have Mediterranean Cypress Extract, which is supposed to go into the cuticle, fortify it, nourish it, and strengthen it, which you really do want in, a, in your cuticle. And then both of them also have argan and mar maracuja oils, which are supposed to hydrate, add some glossiness, and on the conditioner, they'll protect um, from the UV rays of the sun. They are also vegan and cruelty phthalate and sulfate free. Now as for the cruelty free, I do want to mention that while the Orbe is currently right now um, cruelty free, it is recently purchased by a company who is not cruelty free. So if you're one of those people who does not want to purchase from a brand whose owner is not cruelty free as well, then you're going to want to skip this. However, if you just want that specific brand to be cruelty free, or you, you know, don't have a problem at all, cruelty free or non cruelty free, then you could give these a try. All right, now let's get into my review. I actually loved these. So I had talked recently about one of my favorite hair care being um, the Kenra Professional Hair Care. I had gotten some for PR that I never talked about because I received it right around the time I went to the emergency room. Travis went into the hospital and we lost Norbert. So all that together, it kind of got pushed to the back and I just kind of haven't submitted the post even though I really should <laughs> and haven't done that. That being said, I have mentioned before that I did go in 
uh, purchased the full size pump bottles from Ulta because I loved it so much. The only thing stopping me from purchasing the full size of both of these is that $150 and $180 price tag. That is a lot for a shampoo and conditioner, even if it is one liter. But I also just recently purchased those, so I have almost half to three quarters of these big pump bottles of the Kenra Professionals that I need to use, which I used earlier before filming this. So, um, not these, I used the Kenra. Because these are empty, these have been empty. The way that I judge whether a shampoo and conditioner works is I judge it based on the dandruff that I have in my scalp. So I've mentioned this before and it gets a little icky, but due to the eczema in my severe dry skin, do not do, go, that's a good girl. Sorry, <laughs> Ghost was contemplating knocking over the tripod. But anyway, um, I judge it based on how well it does with my eczema and my dry scalp. So I get flakes because I have eczema or I don't know if you would consider it psoriasis at this point, but it kind of flakes and I do get dandruff. So the way that I judge a shampoo is if I shampoo and condition my hair in the morning and if it's there, you know, the flakes are back by midday or that same, you know, later that day, then that is not a great shampoo. Depending on how long it takes and how my hair feels will be where I judge it based off of a poor shampoo to an okay shampoo. Now if it lasts until bedtime then I've moved it up into the good because with the level of dandruff and flaking I have for it to have lasted that long that's actually pretty good. And if it lasts for the next day or beyond I consider it a great shampoo and conditioner. And these actually had it I shampoo because of how dry my scalp is, I shampoo like three times a week and this actually lasted till the second shampoo. Like there was no flaking, no dandruff in my strands or anything like that all the way to the second shampoo. So that was super amazing. I had less shedding of my hair and it just overall was a great shampoo. I really do like it better than the Kenra at the moment. That being said, they do now have a dandruff line that was recently released on Beautylish that is a little bit cheaper than this Gold Lust that I'm contemplating purchasing and kind of partnering with my Kenra. So like shampoo on Monday with the Kenra, shampoo on like Wednesday with the dandruff and then shampoo on like Friday with the Kenra again, kind of doing something like that and then reporting back and seeing how those do. But I absolutely love these. I've noticed a huge difference in my hair and in my scalp. I highly recommend these. So obviously you could tell that my final thoughts on these are that if you have the money to lay down and you're looking for a great hair care kind of product, then these are for sure ones you want to give a try. Or if not, at least something in the Orbe line because I think these are so expensive because of that gold lust in there. So you might be able to find something in the Orbe line that's a little cheaper that you may like as well. And I do know that their dry shampoo and their texturizing spray goes into subscription boxes like ain't nobody's business. So keep your eye out for them there as well. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and you found it informative. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with all of your friends. It really does help. Make sure to leave me a comment down below telling me what your favorite hair care like brand is. Like what brand do you, you may you go and play with other brands, but the brand that you always go back to, which one is it for you? Make sure to follow me on the social media link down below because I do have some giveaways coming up. And until next time, say bye. Say bye, ghosty with the mosty. Yes, there is. She doesn't like being hit out of like this. No, her doesn't. You gonna tell everybody bye? Yes. So cute. Bye.